Hey everyone, it's April Garwood from Banana Mood Studio and today I'm out and about uh, running my kids to their activities but I had someone ask a few days ago for a video about how to crochet my Lime Breeze scarf which I designed for I Like Crochet Magazine, um, I don't know, it's been a few years ago now and I wanted to go ahead and make that video for her so I'm just having to uh, make do with what I have. So I'm on a park bench by the library and a public park and probably everyone here is going to think I'm nuts. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the camera around and work on uh, showing you how to work the stitch pattern for the Lime Breeze scarf. The Lime Breeze scarf is made in a stitch pattern that I've often heard referred to as spider lace. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. The pattern starts with chain 34, so I'll do that. my chain 34 and then it says single crochet in the first three chains you know that's interesting there should be a skip the first chain there okay well we're gonna skip the first chain and see what happens it may mean that my count is off hopefully that mistake didn't make it through to the magazine I'm just working from the version that I had saved on my computer not the actual magazine so hopefully their tech editor caught that and fixed it but I'll find out all right so probably skip the first chain single crochet in the next three chains and it says chain five and skip the next three chains so that's one two three single crochet in the next two chains. So here one and two. Okay, and then my pattern says chain one. Skip the next chain, single crochet in the next two chains. So I'm going to skip this one and single crochet here and here and then it says repeat from star across ending the last repeat at the double star so if I go back to my star I have chain five Skip the next three chains, so that's one, two, three, single crochet in the next two chains. Oop, bumped my camera. Let's see. Okay. And then chain one, skip the next chain, single crochet in the next two chains. I'm take out more yarn here. Okay, and then I go back to the single star, chain five. Skip the next three chains, so that's one, two, three, single crochet in the next two chains. Chain one, skip the next chain, single crochet in the next two.
I think I'm <clears throat> shaking my camera a lot. I apologize for that. I don't have a great setup out here on the park bench, so I apologize for the shakiness. Okay, back to the star. Chain five. Skip the next three chains. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next two chains. And then that brings me to my double star where I'm going to stop and then it says single crochet in the last chain and turn. So indeed it did work out correctly, <clears throat> excuse me, for me to skip my first chain. So if the uh, magazine version of the pattern omitted that uh, here at the beginning to skip the first chain, please know that you should skip the first chain. Okay, and then we will chain one turn single crochet in the first two stitches so that's one and two chain three one two and three single crochet in the next chain space now it's difficult to say in the pattern but what is good to tell you here is that you want to be about in the middle of this chain space so i'm going to place this here okay and then chain three Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. So, now wait a second. Single, oh, yes, okay, so single crochet here. Okay, and then single crochet in the next chain space, which is this little one chain space here. Single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, that's this one. <coughs> and repeat from the star across. So I will go back to the star where I chain three again, single crochet in the next chain space. Again, I kind of want to be in the center of this chain space. Chain three. Skip the next stitch. So that's skipping this one and placing a stitch here. Sorry, I bumped my camera again and single crochet in this one chain space and single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then I'll skip this stitch, chain three, single crochet in the middle of this chain space, chain three, Skip the next stitch, so skip this one stitch here. Single crochet in this one chain space. Oops, snag that. Single crochet in this stitch. Skip this stitch, chain three. Single crochet in the middle of this chain space. And let's see. Chain three. Skip the next stitch, single crochet. So I'm skipping this one, then single crochet here. And that brings me to my double star. So now I will. Looks like there's another mistake there. Wow, sorry about this, guys. Let's see. I bring my to my double star where I chain three, skip next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then there should be one more stitch here. So my apologies there. Wow. I don't know if that mistake made it through into the magazine either, but if it did, I'm very sorry about that. I will um, take a look at the magazine pattern and see if those mistakes made it through, and I will send some corrections to the magazine if they did. Row 3 begins with a chain 1, 
single crochet in the first stitch skip the next stitch which is this one chain three single crochet in the next chain space that's going to be right here up against this stitch that I made in the last row single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next chain space chain three skip the next stitch which is this one single crochet in the next stitch which is this one okay so that's like single crocheting in the middle of these three okay um, skip the next stitch and then repeat so I will chain three and I doubled here this skipping the next stitch because it's here and here there's only going to be one skip stitch there I'm going to fix that okay skip that stitch <clears throat> chain three which I did single crochet in the next chain space it's going to be right up against this one then you're going to single crochet in this stitch and then single crochet right on the other side of it chain three and there are three stitches here you're just going to crochet in the middle the single crochet in the middle one skip the others chain three then I'm going to single crochet right up against this one and then in this next stitch right next to it just left of it chain three of these three stitches I'm just going to single crochet in the middle one skip the others chain three then I will single crochet right up against this one just to the right of it single crochet in this stitch and single crochet just to the left of it and then I will chain three and I will stitch right here into the last one all right and then row four begins with a chain five which counts as a double crochet and a chain two space turn that skip the first stitch single crochet in the next chain space it's going to be right up against this one. Okay. And then single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, this one, and single crochet here and then single crochet here in this chain space right next to it. I think that child's okay. I'm nearby a park. Okay, and then chain five. And then I'm going to skip this chain and come, or excuse me, this stitch and come over here and single crochet in this chain space right up next to the next stitch. Single crochet here. Chain one. Single crochet here. Oh, excuse me, I didn't specify. After the chain one, you're gonna skip this stitch. Then single crochet in the next one and then single crochet in the next chain space right up next to the stitch you just did. Okay, and then chain five. Skip this stitch that's here in the middle. Single crochet in this chain space right up against the next stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. 
skip this stitch and stitch in here and then single crochet in the next chain space right up against the stitch you just made and chain five a bunch of geese are going crazy okay then I'm going to skip this stitch and single crochet in this chain space right up against the next stitch single crochet in this stitch the next one chain one skip this stitch and single crochet in the next single crochet in the next chain space right up against the stitch you just made so this last chain will be a chain two and then you double crochet in the last stitch which mimics that chain five that we started the row with so that's going to be right here that i will double crochet okay and then i will turn and row five begins with chain one single crochet in the first stitch so in that double crochet i did single crochet and then chain three skip the next stitch so this is kind of where I am skip this stitch and single crochet in the next and then I will single crochet in this little chain space and single crochet in the next stitch let's see I lost my place chain three and single crochet in the next chain space so that again is going to be like in the middle is kind of what i want to aim for is to be in the middle of this chain space like so and then i will chain three skip the next stitch single crochet in this one single crochet in this little chain space single crochet in the next stitch chain three then I will oh not my camera sorry okay then I'll skip this stitch and single crochet in the middle of this chain space chain three skip the next stitch stitch in this one single crochet in the next little chain space single crochet in the next stitch chain three I will skip this stitch and single crochet in the middle of this chain space chain three skip this stitch single crochet in this one single crochet in this little chain space single crochet in the next stitch and then this stitch is going to get skipped let me check my pattern here to see what is going to happen next okay let's see SC in the next stitch chain three okay so I'm going to chain three and that brings me to my double star I've chained three and now I'm going to be uh, placing a single crochet stitch in my um, turning chain. So I'll go to the third chain of my turning chain. So one, two, three, and place the final stitch here. Okay, and so that completes row one, two, three, four, five of the pattern for the scarf. And it doesn't look like much right now. This is a, a type of stitch that you really need to block in order to make it look nice. If I kind of uh, stretch this out, you can see a little bit better how it will look when it's finished. And so when you finish this pattern, make sure that you block it because that's going to open up all of these holes so that you can see the, the lace pattern in it. Um, all of the remaining rows in this pattern pretty much do the same thing as what you've already done. 
So based on these, seeing these first five rows, you should be able to figure the rest of it out. Um, yeah, so that is how to do spider lace in my um, lime breeze scarf. And please uh, be sure and leave me comments down below of anything that you would like to learn and I'll see if I can make a video for you. And uh, also please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And check the description box for a link. I honestly don't know if this pattern is available online for the Lime Breeze scarf, but if it is, I will find a link for it and leave that in the description box. And there will also be a link to my homepage where you can find my latest uh, free patterns, tutorials, reviews, and also where you can subscribe to my newsletter, which is twice monthly. Hope everyone has a lovely day.